Let me ask you a question, and, and Karen, also, your line is unmuted, too, and, and feel free to jump in. One of the concerns that I have, and I actually wrote about it in, in my book, was that all of this standardization and, and the national standards and the push for, you know, putting children down these uh, pathways beginning in eighth grade, the result of what we are doing now will actually stifle innovation and opportunity. And what has given us this powerhouse economy has been the ability for any child, it doesn't matter what your background is, if you know how to read and write and, and do math and you come up with an idea, you are free in the United States to, to take that idea, get a patent, you know, look at Bill Gates, <laughs> look at all of these entrepreneurs. My, I've talked about it before. My uncle invented the first shrimp peeling machine back in the 50s that revolutionized the seafood packing industry. When he died, he had 139 patents in the United States and, and had employed thousands and thousands and thousands of people around these, these ideas. That kind of innovation and creativity, what you're talking about, that is what has, has made America exceptional compared to when we control or let the politicians control the economy and control education. Am I off track on that? No, actually, actually you're, you're right on target. All of those statistics in terms of economic output, that I quoted, the scientific papers, the utility patents, everything, the, the creativity index, the innovation index, the entrepreneurship index, those were all of those indices and all of those accomplishments came from people who are at least older than 25 years old. So these are all people who went through a system that was much less standardized. And here, here's the output from that system. So, no, you're, you're right on target. And that's one of the, one, one of the concerns is the more that you – standardize, the less creativity, the less innovation, mm -hmm. the less entrepreneurship. And you see that in these other countries that are more highly standardized. That it's just, uh, that's the story that we need to get out. <laughs> and, and instead, these battles that I hear uh, tonight, I, I was so frustrated listening to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick talking about school choice and how he wanted to give all these poor children an opportunity by giving them a voucher. But what we know is that if you give them the voucher and they still come under these national college and career-ready standards and they have to decide at the end of the eighth grade what they want to be when they grow up, you're stifling that child. I don't, I don't care. That child needs a real teacher who inspires that child and teaches them how to read and write and do math, not some standard that's, that's given by the state. And I actually see the result of all of this push for school choice and, and the standardization and the state testing and the national testing as segregation. Because just like in other countries, it's the, it's the parents with money who are going to pull their kids out and, and get them the best education, and the children who are left in the school system are the, the ones who are economically disadvantaged. And, it, and it's putting them on these vocational tracks when had they just had a great teacher and an opportunity, they could have done just as much as that child whose parents had the money to put them in the private school. Am I off base on that? No, there's no evidence to show that standardization results in higher, number one, closing the achievement, achievement gap. Number two, mm -hmm. higher levels of, a, higher levels of achievement, more higher levels of creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship. And that's part, I discussed that in the book too, partly because the underpinning uh, philosophy of standardization are not meant to drive creativity, innovation, 
entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. So, as you said, you can have as much choice or as little choice as you want in a standardized system, the outcomes are still going to be depressed because of standardization itself. 